New research, new technologies, and new types of treatments. We've come a long way in health care over the years, and the medical advancements will only continue. KXAN's Doug Shoup shows us some of what's been accomplished. And when it's lighter... Craig Ross was at a fellowship meeting when his mind started to get foggy. And it wasn't like pain, like a heart attack, you know, your arm hurts or something. No, it was um, confusion and inability to express a complete thought. Turns out it was a stroke. Doctors say Ross's condition was catastrophic, but still treatable because he got help right away. The largest issue we're facing today is uh, people coming in in time so that we can treat strokes. What a stroke is, is when a blood vessel is stopped up and blood isn't getting to the brain, and after a period of time, the brain dies and it's permanent. So if we can reach that quick enough, we can often reverse it. Ross went to Seton Hospital and volunteered to try out a new blood clot removing procedure. Doctors inserted a medical device inside his body. It worked like a snake, found the blood clots, and removed them. I went from being paralyzed on one side of my body to being able to stand here and talk to you and explain what my experience was. Meanwhile, at St. David's Hospital, there are other medical innovations. The Texas Institute for Robotic Surgery is leading training and research into robotic assisted surgery. Robotic surgery is a high tech tool that mimics a surgeon's movements. The surgeon looks at 3D images on a console to maneuver around. Because the pictures are in high definition, doctors can see better. So, as a surgeon, it's like you're sitting inside the patient. And everything is miniaturized. So that allows you to get into very difficult places, the ability to control and see things that you weren't able to do before. Robotic surgery has many pluses for patients. So not only do we have the benefit of shorter hospital stay, less blood loss, less complication, now we're getting aesthetic improvements as well to where you can't hardly even tell you've had the surgery. Medical advances mean patients will get well faster, and in some cases, like Ross's, they'll live longer. Doug Shoup, KXAN News. KXAN is hosting a live town hall discussion called AT Expansion Healthcare in Central Texas. We've invited community leaders to talk about the various issues we face in the coming years. It'll take place tomorrow night, March 7th, from 7 to 8. That's at the Hill Country Bible Church Northwest Campus in Cedar Park. To register be, to be a part of the audience there, you can go to our website, kxan.com, and then click on the AT Expansion tab.